One of the greatest external proofs of the inspiration of Scripture is that of prophecy. And it's not that you just have a little bit of the Bible that deals with prophecy. You've got 17 prophets in there. So there's a big section of your Bible that focuses on nothing but prophecy. Daniel, Things to Come, from pastor, author, and teacher Tommy Nelson. The most remarkable of all of the prophets is that of Daniel. If you have Daniel down, you have the framework of, of biblical prophecy and everything else you can plug in there like Legos. What we're going to do is get wide, narrow, narrower, and then we're going to get in chapter 9, microscopic. How do you think God sees human history? He's going to see it as four beasts, four animals. What is an, why is an animal a great picture of government? Because a, a beast has power without conscience. Does that sound government without God? Government without God is power without morality and without conscience. When you know the end from the beginning, it's meant to do something to your life. When you don't have the light of God, the truth of God, do you run into stuff? Good night. You beat yourself to death. You fall downstairs because you can't see the world as it really is. Is part of our preaching that there will be a judgment of all men? It should be. It affects our preaching. Make sure that you don't end your gospel presentation with heaven. We end it with hell. When I interpret the first coming of Christ on the colt, the foal of a donkey, dying upon the cross, rising from the dead, do I interpret those prophecies literally? I do. Do I have the freedom to interpret His first coming literally and His second coming as symbolic? I don't think that I do. Daniel, things to come.